Hey everyone, it's your girl Ruth Naomi Mitchell and I'm here to tell you the results of the case, the Busilla versus Pastor Biden of the Cosa Church. Uh, results, I cannot believe the results. Honestly, I expected more. I know I've read so much comments about Nigeria, about Lagos, about government, about how they handle rape and sexual abuse cases. And I must tell you, I am by far like at a serious level of disappointment. As you can see that Busilla lost the case against Pastor Boyton for raping her. And uh, she was actually fined a million dollar uh, based on the report that I've been reading, she has been fined a million dollar. Wow. <laughs> Guys, comment below and tell me how you feel about this. Um, it's really sad. I've read, I've watched all the videos about the accusation. And you guys, if you haven't watched my first video on it, I'll link it below. I just wanted to just read a report that I've seen on Sega. And it simply says, um, update, Busilla de Cola. The clerk called the lawyers of Busilla late last night, notifying them of the judge's ruling on the preliminary objection today. As expected, a mockery of our processes and law was the case as the drama unfolds. Y'all, I need to hear some comments about this. Okay, he said, a Nigerian court that claims twice it cannot find processes on Busilla versus Biden case suddenly calls for ruling on preliminary application and declares that the matter is statute barred and that it cannot address the substance of the matter because it happened a long ago. Guys, are you kidding me? So they're throwing out the case because this happened a long time ago. Y'all, I live in the United States and clearly, of course, I know there's an obvious difference. But if anybody know about the gymnastic case, about the USA um, gymnasts, all of them came together and exposed the trainer. I can't remember his name. You know, that he sexually abused them for years. And they finally all came out and they received justice. So this really exposed to me how the Nigerian law is. And it's really scary. I don't know, guys. Comment below. Tell me how you're feeling. Um, let me continue. He said... It happened a long time ago. A court cannot declare a matter statute buried when it has been shown that the legal injury is a continuous one. This is so confusing, guys, because the court is not denying the fact that it happened. And they know it was continuously, like it continuously happened. I don't know, y'all. You guys help me to understand because this is some crazy thing. I can't believe the case has gone to this, guys. Let me finish the reading the actual status on Sega. So Sega continue says it will even be far more ludicrous. Uh, if it is announced that the judge went ahead to award damages in millions to the accused who is still preying on young girls as alleged by survivors being threatened and bribed on the daily to keep mute. What a society. Shame. Y'all can hear my Jamaican accent now, right? Because we come from Jamaica now, you know. And this really a hit home. His last um, statement is, it should interest the public that the defense wasn't that the rape did not happen. Based on this, it was objected based on the fact that it happened long ago as per this survivor. And the judge ruled that he should go and continue violating others from all indications. Basically... <laughs> Basically, reading everything, 
that's basically what the Nigerian court is saying is that it is okay it happened long time ago forget about it we know it he's doing this still there's just no justice where does justice lay seriously honestly guys I'm going to end quickly but before I end I really wanted to read um, one of Basila's ending statement on her Instagram page uh, Basila I am standing in support still as you guys could see um, actually awareness is victory that was her statement and I'm going to just read uh, the statement above you see the statement and I'm just reading towards the end it says this has only made me to wonder more what a country we have I was practically surprised at the hearing of the case when the court said the file was missing and later when the court said my own process cannot be found and finally the case is out of time this only shows that we have a lot to address to bring sanity to our country. My goodness, I so agree. This is not a good look on Nigeria, guys. She further says, Today I am glad that my voice is not silenced. And this is victory for me. You go, girl. I agree. I agree to that. I must encourage every woman out there to keep the pace and never stop voicing out against the evil of rape and sexual abuse. Do not be di dispirited by today's court decision. No judgment has been made declaring the innocence of Mr. Biden. It must be stated that while our experience have a shared theme, the circumstances are different. We must not give up for our victory lies more in finding our voice than anything else. I thank my dear husband for his continuous support, friends, our legal team, and all who have been standing with us on this. As I assure you all, I am very fine. Man. You hear my Jamaican accent, people? Girl, Basila, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Many comments have been saying, you know, this is the reason why people in Nigeria, they don't, they don't just, girls don't just say, I've been raped. Because there's no proper justice that has been given. I think the Nigerian court need to go back. And there's some laws that need to be changed because, you know, here in the United States, I know things are different. Don't get at me. But it doesn't matter how long the sexual abuse was. I gave an example of the gymnast um, situation with the USA Gymnastic Association with all the girls coming up front and justice was given. You know, I just wanted to say the ultimate justice will be given by God. And we know that as believers. And I just wanted to read a scripture um, here. Ecclesiastics 3.17 says, I said to myself, God will bring into judgment both the righteous and the wicked. For there will be a time for every activity, a time to judge every deed. Another scripture, Hebrews 10.30, For we know him who said, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, and again, the Lord will judge his people. You know, Bersila knows the truth. Pastor Biden knows the truth. And at the end of the day, the Lord will judge his people. And we have to be very careful, very careful of how we use our leadership as a power to manipulate and you know to to just do some unscrupulous things this is definitely more than a life lesson this is something so serious and i just want to say we stand in support with you basila for for just vocalizing as you put up on your instagram awareness is victory and that is true you are victorious, my girl, because you have brought this in a weirdness. You have spoken out loud with your testimony, with your story. And uh, I just want to simply say, Job 12, 22 says, He reveals the deep things of darkness and brings utter darkness into the light. Mighty God. Out to, 
utter darkness has been brought into the light. So he has been exposed for what he has been doing to young girls. And I am just hoping that he does not abuse grace any longer as a pastor. I hope that he really seeks proper guidance and counseling. I've noticed other pastors are standing in support of him. I've seen the likes. I've seen, I, I think, even a comment. I try not to really feed into it. But remember before you stand in support of something of this, that you realize what you are doing. Because you're standing supporting someone that has gone against God and has gone against the law. And it's serious. It's serious. Don't support something that you don't know. I believe Busilla laid it all on the table for us, exposed everything. And as we can see, the court decision is not saying that uh, Pastor Boyden didn't do it. <laughs> he, they're just saying that this case has just been too long. It's really sad. But my dear Busilla, just know that God is the ultimate uh, one that gives justice. And... Uh, Leave it all in God's hands and you have definitely represented women and girls out there in Nigeria and all over the world. And guys, this is it. This is my take on everything. Don't come from me. <laughs> um, God bless, man. God bless. This case has opened up my eyes and I am really shocked to see how Nigeria handle rape stories and cases and it brings me right back home to Jamaica. I just want to say y'all, ladies, you know, don't keep quiet if someone has sexually harassed you and don't think that you are less of a woman. You know, you're not less of a woman. God loves you and you have the right to speak up and I believe that Priscilla has definitely given a proper example and have given a door for many others to come and to speak up and you never know this case might be might come up again you never know because God is a God that is just all right guys subscribe to our channel I'm looking forward in hearing back from you guys God bless y'all and your girl is out